Hello wine people! Welcome to Grape Exciting channel. I am Alexandra and today I will teach you how to do the ultimate wine tasting party at home. Wine is a social thing and it is better when it's enjoyed together with friends. But when people hear about wine tasting parties, this can be quite intimidating. Just trust me, nothing can be more easy and more fun then have a few bottles of wine with some finger food and good energy. I love to organize parties and to make sure everything is done up to the smallest detail. So let's take it step by step. Firstly, you have to think how many friends you would like to have over. You have to consider a few things. A bottle of wine is six normal sized glasses. So for one tasting per person, one bottle of wine is enough for approximately eight people. Another thing is to invite a mix of people with different backgrounds as will make it more interesting and more fun when they will describe that wine. If you are looking to know more about this, I have done a four minutes video about wine terminology, so check it out. Second, pick a theme. Either go by region slash country, for example, uh, Greece, and then you can have any Greek wine, or you can go by grape variety, and then you can have, let's say, Pinot Noir from all over the world, or even by the vintage. It will be really interesting to see different wines from different regions, different grape varieties, but the same age, how they show differently. My advice to you is don't buy all the bottles yourself. The guests like to be involved. They will get excited when they go to choose the wine. You could set a price point, for example, 20 pounds per bottle, which for that price, you will find a very decent wine. Third thing. Now, if you are having friends who know a bit about wine, it will be really interesting to do it blind. And I'm not referring to taste blindfolded. Just put the wine in a bottle sleeve or paper bag and most importantly, don't forget to number each one of them and secretly write down which number is which. So, you know, try to cover each bottle up to the rim because some of your friends or guests will recognize their wine. But if you want your tasting to be more chilled, just leave the bottles how they are and then the guests can go back to them if they really like something. Fourth thing, the glasses. Obviously, not everyone will have loads of wine glasses the same size and shape. The only thing which I would like you to consider is don't use plastic. It changes the taste of the wine and plus it's bad for our planet. Actually, if you have different shaped glasses, it will be easier for your guests to recognize which one are theirs. But if you do have glasses that are all the same, which is very good by the way, then consider writing their name on their glass with a washable marker or felt tip pen. But just make sure you use one that will wash off in the dishwasher or by hand. The fifth thing which you have to decide is which food to go with it. If you organize a region, it would be great to have some food related to that area. But otherwise, just make a nice charcuterie platter with some hard cheeses and some crackers. Easy finger food. Also, make sure you have enough water on the table to keep your guests hydrated. After you have finished all the bottles with your friends, ask them which one was their favorite. Take some pictures with them and their favorite wine and send it to them later. Or maybe do a special card and send it to them a few months later. They will be really impressed. That's it! Simple! Just go ahead, invite your friends. You don't need anyone to organize this for you. It's easy and I promise you, you will have a lot of fun. Let me know how it goes in the comments below and hit subscribe button if you would like to see more videos related to wine. Thank you!